around for food, shooting threatening things that move, keeping dry under a roof, oh yeah, that's living the life at the dead end. It's a crappy, snowy, blowy day, perfect for duck hunting, and we'll see what happens. It's a cold, late, late October, and we're going duck hunting like you've probably never witnessed before, and I'm looking forward to it. This tip is brought to you by Get to the Other Side. We've got to take the stuff out of the boats because we're going to take the boat from here and put the boat over to here. And come up. Yeah. Okay, if you haven't figured out yet, we've laid the pipe down, and now it's time to lay the hammer down. Now where do we go? Yeah, baby, we're going that way. <laughs> okay. So we got that one over, and we have one more to go. Cross your finger. Those Duke boys sure know their way around Hazard County. Okay, let's take a minute to break down this situation. My brother Randy is driving this boat. He's been known to put the odd ditch cattail in the grill of the family car after going out for a rip. I'm pretty sure at this exact moment, he's puckered tighter than a muskrat that swam into an otter's den. I'm not sure what my buddy Omar is thinking, but his Superman instinct has seemed to kick in. Okay, let's just let Mother Nature take its course. And that's how you get to the other side. We're just trying to figure out the best plan of action right now. The birds are flying and uh, we'll see what happens. Here is a Northern Manitoba boat launch. Six 
successful hunt. No one got water in their boot. No one. So we hardcore hunted ducks for three days. My brother and my friend put me on a good hunt and I appreciate that. It'll be a memory that I store for a long time. But even more important, we didn't go to the grocery store and complain about the variety or lack thereof. And we got our own supper. Every one of those ducks we plucked, we singed, and we bagged so that we could eat them for the long winter ahead. That's living the life at the dead end.